Hello everyone, here we continue talking about hypothesis testing. We have learned the idea of hypothesis testing and we know now hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. When we apply this idea of hypothesis testing to the two populations, we may describe the statement by the difference of two population means. The sampling distribution for the difference of two means would be the foundation. Assume that two populations have mean mu1 and mu2. Two random samples from the two populations separately have mean y1 bar and y2 bar. Then the random variable t would follow t distribution. We have the standard error, they expressed by population mean and sample mean. And also have degree freedom, it looks quite uh, complicated, but you can see if you apply all the information in Excel, you can easily have this degree freedom settled or calculated in Excel. Of course, right now, Excel doesn't have this kind of special function for degree freedom. But if you apply the cells properly, you can have it done quickly. Here, I show you how to use Excel properly to finish this calculation. We have sample. And we know the standard uh, division and uh, we also know the sample size so we use S represent the standard deviation use N to represent the sample size and we do have two independent sample sample 1 and sample 2 so here, just uh, randomly pick up the number, for example, 35.6, 25.4, for example. And uh, first the sample size 30, and the second sample size 50. When we look at this uh, formula for calculating degrees of freedom, we do notice there's some kind of similarities. In this formula, the pattern for the two samples clearly. So here I mark it down. Let's see what we need to calculate. When you do the calculation, you don't have to mark down if you keep that in mind what you're doing. But if you don't try to make it clear, uh, you can mark like uh, what I do here. So this part we calculate s square over n. And another part we need to do, which is s uh, square over n. But we need to do this part. That's the bottom part. We need to do this uh, square as well. And then we divide n minus 1. So that's what we're doing. I just uh, give you a note on the top so we know what we're doing. So here we can use the information already here, or just simply use it. So this is a square divided by n. This part done. If you have this part, because they are exactly the same formula, you just auto fill in. And then next part, you just simply use, you already calculated this part, so simply use this one square, and then divide n minus 1. So this part done. Similarly, you do the auto filling again. This part done. And then what we need from the formula, the top parts, to put them together in the square. So we put them together. Do the square. And this is the bottom part. We just simply put them together. All right. And then all we need to do is the top part divided by the bottom part. So this is our degree of freedom. 
So we're done. This only takes a couple of minutes. You have the done, so you don't have to be scared with this complicated formula. And with this way, you can see clearly every single step you have done. You can check the back. So when you use this formula, if you need to really calculate this degree of freedom, you may try this method and make it easy. You do not try to put all the formula in one cell. That case, easy to make a mistake and not easy for checking your steps. Okay, so here's the tip for you to calculate the degrees of freedom. In that case, our typical hypothesis models for two independent populations would be described as the difference of two population means delta zero. The difference of two population means not equal to delta zero. So this is a typically called two-tailed or two-sided hypothesis model. Similarly, if we have the alternative one only considering one side, say the difference of two population means greater than delta zero, or the two population means or the difference of two population means is smaller than delta zero. These two models are called one-tailed or one-sided. The t-test statistic would be expressed as this on the screen. The degree of freedom can be calculated similarly what we mentioned. When the real situation allows us to assume that two populations have equal variance, we have a chance to pull the data from two samples together to compare the two populations. This technique gives us a little benefit on degree of freedom. Assume that two populations have mean mu1 and mu2, two random samples from the two populations with equal variance separately have mean y1 bar and y2 bar. Then the random variable t similarly build, but here at the bottom we have the pooled standard error. So the pooled standard error in a simple format, and here we have the pooled variance being expressed on the screen. And this also t distribution, and the degree of freedom is much simpler and is more accurate. So it's n1 plus n2 minus 2. Again, the typical hypothesis models for two populations with equal variance would be described as below. So two-sided model or one-sided model. And the pool, the two t-test statistic, same as what we just expressed, and the pool of the variance and the degree of freedom. We can see just the, the model, the format, slightly changed compared to one population. And here we have the test statistic and we have degree of freedom and we can exactly apply them in the same format in the real question. When the two data samples are somehow related, either by timing or by location, or by any other possible connections. The two groups of data are called paired data. When we use the paired data to test a statement about a related population, we can simply consider the difference of each paired values. Then the two variables would be replaced by single variable, which is the difference. And we can simply apply one population t-test. Here we go. So we build up the new random variable. Mu d represents the difference between the two population. We do the difference for each paired data value from the two samples. Then the two groups of data are transformed to one group of data. So if we say y1 and y2 represent the paired values from two samples, 
and we can simply just calculate the difference between these paired data. And we come out a new collection, new group of data, they all about this difference. So the D is the value in the new generated single sample from the paired data. So in that case, you can see how the model transform. For two population, original hypothesis model being described as left side including two population mean. After we use the difference to represent the two population mean and then turning to one, simply just the D bar. Similarly, for one tailed as well, so we can see so the two dimensional model being transformed to one dimensional model. So in that case, we back to what we have learned before, t-test on one population. So here's what we have learned. We use the t distribution and we use the standard error. It's very much the same as what we have applied before. And then we'll show you example how you manage all this in Excel. Okay, here we're going to show you how analysis package works in Excel. This analysis package is not default setting. So if you have never done this, when you use Excel, you should click the file. And from the bottom option, and take a look click add in and then click go and then make sure here you have analysis tool pack marked if you have this marked then you should be okay when you click the data group and you will see data analysis this package on the right side down to the end and here we have an example if you bought a used camera in good condition from a friend, would you pay the same as you would if you bought the same item from a stranger? A researcher at Cornell University wanted to know how friendship might affect simple sales such as this. She randomly divided subjects into two groups and gave each group descriptions of items they might want to buy. One group was told to imagine buying from a friend whom they expected to see again. The other group was told to imagine buying from a stranger. And then here we have two sets of data. Buying from a friend. So that's what actually happened. So what kind of price being paid, being collected. We have a small sample. And another group buying from a stranger will also have a collection of the prices being paid. So now we want to know if there's difference. So basically our original assumption could be set as the average price being paid from the different samples supposed to be same. That's what our now hypothesis. And the opposite part if we do both sides so our alternative hypothesis would be the average price different if we try to think about one side so probably we think about buying from a stranger would cost more than buying from a friend or buying from a friend would cost more buying from a stranger that would give us the idea maybe we check one side. But don't worry about this part. Let's see how to run the analysis pack. Click the data group. Click data analysis. And then we have options. You can see at the bottom here we have t-test paired two sample. t-test two sample assuming equal variance. t-test two sample assuming unequal and the z-test. So we have t-test three options. So obviously here for us, 
either we assume our population two population has same equal variance or unequal variance we do not have clear information so we can try both but definitely this is not a paired data you can see our sample size even not same and the data they are not kind of related they separate something so let's try two sample assuming unequal variance just a general situation and then here variable one click this and then you highlight here's our data resource and then variable two you choose where you data located highlight from the way we did we can see we both selected the title on the top so here you got to mark the label being included and then hypothesis mean difference so we already explained the model so here we try the difference zero we try to test if they are equal so that's all about so difference if it is zero and we give the significance level 5% and then we try to set up our output from here click OK so here's our output result show up so we need to understand the table come out so clearly give us each group here we have a title buying from friend we have average price buying from stranger we have average price and variance variance for each group and observations so we have uh, one group sample size 8 another group sample size 7 and the hypothesis mean difference that's what we are testing 0 and the degree of freedom here is being calculated you can use our formula to do the calculation have a try see what's the difference and then we have test the statistic directly come out and then we have one tailed p-value if we're doing one tail testing and t critical for one tail and if we're doing two tail testing here give you the p-value and t critical value for two tailed so here we only show you how you run this data analysis in Excel and you can actually practice follow the formula use the Excel function and you can match every value showing in this table and in that case you will know where they come from and the right now the convenience is if you run this program in Excel directly you just by click you come out all the results you need see you next time